Nelson Brunton Natural Healing Center. Today I would like to talk about the humble ginger. It has many useful properties. The components of ginger. It has many acids, alpha, lyonic acid, ascorbic acid, aspartic acid, glutamic acid, oxalic and oxalic acid. Amongst the amino acids, it has arginine, asparagine, hestatine, leucine, lysine, methionine, niacin, tryptophan, tyrosine, valine, and many others. Minerals, it has aluminium, boron, chromium, cobalt, magnesium, phosphorus, silicon, and zinc. Ginger has been used for many years as an anti-vomiting remedy. Good for dizziness, especially when traveling. It's also very helpful in car sickness. Vomiting after chemotherapy, vomiting in pregnancy, post-operative vomiting. Where the stomach is concerned, it has antibacterial power to avoid the formation of ulcers by eliminating the Helicobacter pylori. In cases of diarrhea, it has the capacity of eliminating harmful bacteria, especially in cases of E. coli. Where circulation is concerned, ginger is good for those suffering from poor circulation. It helps to dissolve blood clots in the arteries. It lowers the cholesterol in the blood and makes the blood more fluid. It helps to prevent a series of vascular problems. Using ginger can also prevent heart attacks, angina pectoris, thrombosis, Raynaud's diseases. It is also used constitutionally as a natural alternative to conventional treatment. Its healing can be fortified when eaten together with onions and garlic. It is also an anti-flu remedy. Helps cases of flus, coughs, colds, sinuses. Ginger root can be treated for those suffering with arthritic pains, toothache, and also bad breath. Contraindications are for those people who are on medications such as anticoagulants, heparin. It also interferes with the absorption of certain vitamins and minerals and iron. And sometimes it can produce an excess of gastric acids. In such cases of those who are taking medication, please consult your doctor if in doubt. Thank you.